Hey everyone, so I have a uh, quick kind of cool project that I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Uh, it's my friend, my friend is getting married and I wanted to make them a cool gift I guess for their wedding. And uh, it actually already passed so I missed the deadline but hopefully I'll get to them soon. Originally I thought to uh, get them like a chest uh, that they can put things in as like memories, I don't know. And then I would design a custom lock for it. But then I couldn't really find the right chest and it was kind of big and I was planning on taking it across the country so I settled for just the lock. So naturally I went straight to my usual laser cutting and this is what I've come up with. Here are the parts. Here are the laser cut parts. I'm going to put together and it's going to be a functioning lock. So these are all individual eighth inch sheet cuts, laser cut pieces. These are little locking mechanisms. I had some keys but the design didn't turn out so I'm going to grind that out and figure something out there. And then this is the top plate. So I have to put it together I'm going to put some rivets through it, that's what I was just carrying in here, I had some parts, some springs, and uh, yeah, I'm going to try to age it in a way, I don't know how that's going to turn out either, but we're going to experiment. I've only got this one thing, so figure out how it goes. It shouldn't take too long to build, but we'll see. Anyways, it's kind of cool. I want to see it assembled and working. Alright, let's get to it. And if I have time, I'll also make a box, but I don't think I'll have time. Anyways. Let's go. Okay, so before I get uh, building, let me just give you an idea of what's going on here. So this piece right here is like a little, is the locking mechanism. And so that holds it in here. This is like kind of like a bearing. Holds it in place. And then this will sit here. Be a spring behind that. And the key will be able to turn this to unlock it. Now what's cool about this is it requires both the keys to open. And I've tried it out loosely put together and it seems to work. Uh, some things need to be ground down a bit and yeah we'll see. I also got brass rivets but I think I like the way the steel rivets look. So let's uh, start putting stuff together. Okay, so I totally underestimated the like pinching power of the rivets. First time using rivets. Pretty cool. Uh, so it doesn't really unlock anymore. It's kind of like stuck. And uh, I guess it's going to be more of a decorative piece. I half expected this to happen. I didn't, I guess I didn't grind down the locking pieces enough. 
So it's all kind of like smooshed together on the inside. You can feel them, they're still loose, but they won't unlock. And the keys are pretty weak, so they you'd probably break the key if you tried really hard. But still happy with it, it looks pretty cool. So I gotta figure out how to age it now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I wanted to like I wanted to make it black, like black steel, but I'm not really sure the easiest way to do that, so I'm gonna try to figure that out. So I love the way this turned out. So if you noticed, I didn't put the wood engraving in there. I popped them back out. I was gonna try and do that, but it didn't work out. And I decided to show, you know, me failing at carving that. Uh, I've never carved anything before. It's kind of getting the hang of it, but it's a little thin and not a good place to start, so. It is finished. And I love it. Love the way it turned out. Uh, it's first time like felting things. Felt is very forgiving. You can like stretch it if you cut it bad. Somehow I managed to do this on the first attempt. A little bit wrinkly, but uh, I think it looks good. And I don't know if you noticed, but I was installing magnets 
hold the keys. So there's a magnet behind there to hold the individual keys. The weathering on the box turned out really well. I was just kind of going for it. Hitting some hammers and different tools into the surface like it, it had been, uh, you know, on a tool shelf or something for a long time. And then some scratches and stain and I just added a, some clear coat. It's the easiest thing. And then I uh, use that same blue steel on the hinges um, just for a second and then rinse them off and they also like turned out perfect. That stuff is great for weathering certain metals, well, iron. So the project is done. Can't wait to send it off. I hope they like it. Yeah, I think they will. And uh, yeah, I have to ship it off. Scary. Anyways. You know the deal. That's it. Project over. Everyone, be good and have a good day.